hello friends and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn about cases in the previous video we have learned how you can use if else statement in a shell script which is like this so without wasting any time let's start with the switch case so i'll be so i'll be naming my script as switch dot sh and as usual we'll be starting with the shebang line that is hash exclamation mark slash bin dot bash which means our script will run in bash shell. So then we will give, we will take a user input that is echo, enter your choice, and we will read this choice in num. And then let's start with the switch case. So in shell script, you have to directly start with case, that is case, and on which variable we are going to apply case is variable num, and then in. And here you can start writing your case. So I'll be using number one, number one as my first case and then round back it. And from here onwards, on the next line, you can write your case. So if you give space here, you have to use space throughout the cases. I'll be using tab, which is easier. And I'll be just echoing one message that first case. And I'll use the second as ls. And I will end my first case with two semicolons. So as I have to start the second case, I'll use the number two round bracket, then enter onto the next line, and then again I have to use tab since I'm using tab in the first case. So echo second case ls minus l. I'll using I'll be using as a second command, and then semicolon. So here in the shell you can use a while case that is star again you have to use round bracket and then i'll echo as while case and i will end this case with two semicolons and i have i have to end the entire switch case writing case in a reverse order that is e s a c and it this will be our switch case in between you can also have multiple inputs for the same case with using or let's suppose i'll be using jan or a as my first case so if i enter jan or a or one i'll be entering into the first case so let's suppose i will be entering poip or b i'll be entering into the second case so let's take an example here so i'll be saving my script with ch mode plus x and then i'll execute this switch up shell so i'll be entering choice one so you will see that the first case is printing and it is again giving the ls command so even if i enter jan still it will give the same since i have given two user inputs for the same case and we'll also check the third that is a still it is giving the same output so let's suppose if enter b then it will give the second case's output that is second case and the output of it so let's enter something else that is let's suppose enter 18 7 so it will just go into the wild case because we have not handled the case for 87 and this is how you can use switch case in shell script so stay tuned for more videos on shell scripting and thank you for watching.